Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening, amazing, spectacular propaganda cast from your host and Pearl Dane. The one, the only master propaganda hero, psych defender of the fatherland, off here to a glorious 1v1 in final approach in the north of this angrived and fun for the German army, Deutschland. Here, setting out with the second panzer edition here with close air support. Jaeger Infantry and Mechanized with Double Infantry Panthers and South of this Inca Una fighting for America, freedom, democracy here with the 6th Armored Division with Rifle Company featuring the EC-8 tank, Rifle and Defensive Structures, Advanced Infantry Equipment, M3 Half Tracks and the White Phosphorus Barrows with Triple Infantry and as always a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, these company of of heroes for me. You too can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon yourself. Or you can also just consider a one time donation by PayPal. Links are in the video description. And as you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button, keep YouTube algorithms from kicking in my door and dragging you off to an undisclosed concentration camp in Siberia. So, we offer the double officer out there for Inkuna with a gun in the MD42 there for Angreifen. Pioneers can easing towards the south of the east there, heading for north field point in particular. We got more of a center focus here for Inkuna. There's still a unit here in the north. Looks like mostly just, you know, basically to slow down. And I'm getting the northern field point. He's focusing the south there, center. Not a bad idea there. Second grenade squad there for Angreifen. Of course, obviously, what he ends up going for this is Inkuna, who now actually uses this bit of a engagement attack to flank behind Angreifen, sneaking up behind him. Sneaky there by Inkuna. Devious flank. Which leaves Angreifen a bit up middle. We can see the machine wasn't set up in the build, so you can switch around here to deal with it somewhat. But even then, it puts a bit more pressure on Angreifen's push here, forcing him to be more aware of the flank and possibilities of further maneuvers here from Inkuna. Though, of course, at the same time, it does divert Inkuna from just grabbing the south, so he loses this engagement. He's really gained nothing in the end, so it's uh, not without his risks here for Inkuna. Not without his risks. Third round for almost done there for Inkuna. He's running there, machine ringing as well there. Trying to use the train here. Probably it's like he's aware there's a machine gun. He's trying to like avoid it. In this case, he's setting up here. So he can sort of roughly cover. But at the same time, there's going to be a bit of a blind spot. With the rifle can theoretically avoid the machine guns. But now he's just backing off here. The engagement, it seems, he has failed for Inkuna. Well, at least for now. He is trying to, I think, bait Angreifen into an engagement. Where he can then sort of push back hard. Third gun is there for Angreifen. We'll have to see what Inkuna goes for next. Though, if he's going to keep up here, I would suggest either some more fur further deeper flanks here. Or he's going to need a mortar to make this really, I think, work. That should just, again, divest attention towards the centre south. Instead of, you know, keeping on and occupied here. Well, again, not really gaining much terrain, which we'll see. I mean, there's obviously a lot of decisions that can be made here. Third one is squad out there for Angreifen. We'll have to see what happens next. Lieutenant, Captain, Mortar. Pioneers are taking a few hits as they grab the northern field. Reasons from the north. Still keeping on away from the fuel point isn't half bad either here, though, for Inkuna. In particular, now you're saying for the sun wants to make progress there, though, of course. But Angang could also just head southwards himself. But so far, both players are now deeply focused in the north there. Go pushing him as the machine moves forward. See if we now try and move behind it. We'll have to see if it works out. And he's being absolutely overwhelmed. Got another gun. He's squatting nearby. He's pulled over here. Inkuna keeps the pressure against Angreifen. Trying to just push back. Rav squats though. Is starting to suffer a bit of bleeding here against the MD42 team. And we do get the return there for Inca Una. So there you go. Caught here with the Info 2. It's going to have to force a retreat here. Other Rifle Squad to try. Ooh, grenades! That's why he's using the Rifle Squad as bait, sacrificing Private Lewis for the purpose of almost taking out the machine. Next, a really close call here, though, for Inca Una. If Maddie had gotten that MD42 up, that would have been huge here in the early game. Absolutely amazing. But even then, he was able to push on Dragon with this. In the end, all the fun here. Yeah, I don't know. A fully one out there was definitely an intense one there. Tech on one there for Angreifen and Bunker up. Then he's going for the curve point here. He's pushing back. Ralph's got enforcing, but nice early grenades here from Inkuna. They are fairly rare, which again is why they can always be so effective, because again, your opponent will rarely expect them. Devious. Bunker almost done. We'll have to see what Angreifen goes for. Will it be the very popular Jaeger infantry? Will it be German mechanized, or will it be the close air support? Close air support would certainly be the most interesting, since we rarely see that one ever, but German Ekinas is sort of alright, though currently it's a doctrine only made of a passive abilities, which looks a bit funny. Uh, admittedly, I mean, Rifle Company is pretty much almost all passives as well, with only the White Phosphorus being an active ability now. Machine sitting up here, baiting in the troops there, not shabby there, that's sitting behind the car there, they may just be a bit hard to suppress here, and they're going to use, oh, pops out of cover there. That's a bit awkward there for Inkuna, and there he goes to press. Rav's got up here on the flank, could stand with another grenade here of North Fuel, and then we grab back for the Gunnies. Fifth come away for Inkuna. 
And I'm trying to get some distance between the Rock Squad and the MD-32. But at the same time, one wrong mistake could cost the machine gun and hand the Americans a shiny new MD-42. Oh, Gun's retreating here. I mean, this does technically allow the machine gun to set up here. And maybe he actually retreated there. Perhaps it's baked, I don't know. But in this case, though, machine really set up. Suppressed the Rock Squad a bit. More troops bring forwards here. Like to make a nice company there for Ungraf. And he's still got the machine there. But the gun is on a bit of sticks. chasing in the Rock Squad. Could pop a grenade here. Then again, they're down to one man, and so cannot, at least not without risking a wipe, which would be pretty painful here for Inkuna. Still, Inkuna's denying precious fuel to Ungram, so even though it's got the like to make an cup, he can't go for an armoured car yet. So there's some really effective pressure here by Inkuna, really good play on the terrain here. And of course, good use of that one grenade, which definitely changes, I think, a lot of how Ungram name plays around those rifles. Since again, one mistake could cost him a lot. So very close to the armored car though, back here for Inkuna. We shall see what happens next. Possibly a mechanized command post upgrade. You could also theorize like consider a half check, but that requires also a mechanized command post. But you know, half check would be a half back choice either, to be honest. I think a lot of people tend to sleep on half checks. And there we go, I'm driving commit some mortar. I mean, that's also pretty good here. Again, maps like Femmel Approach are pretty good for mortars. In fact, they had to change the British because that used to you could actually build mortar placement within the base sector and they also had to change the map further because they just place a mortar placement I think around here and they just cover a fat chunk of the map. So, I mean Femal Approach is definitely one of those maps which just benefits a lot from a you know well handled mortar. I'm getting one he's pretty good there you go great. oh was about to pop but decided against it there you go pops it again now again, you can see that he's sort of using the animation to like, you know, have Angrav move there because he just threatens the presence, the existence of the grenade. They're grabbing it off though, and we see that Angrav knows how to just pull through. But again, they just also show just like him just winding up the animation because there's that, you know, can even like have an effect there to, you know, more skilled opponents. So, sneaky in corner there. He's trying to flanking up, he can't pop a grenade. Oh, he's trying to... Wire off the exit. He's trying. He's creating a grenade pit there. Effect like a pit. Never about one. In this case, takes too much damage. Still, I like the idea that is absolutely insidious play there by Inkuna. Absolutely insidious. Hey, Jürgen, yeah, it's those Americans uh, surviving off the entrance. Just ignores him. I, I think he might be trying to set up a trap. The Americans, Fritz. They don't have two brain cells set up together, let alone set up a trap. If you say so. Still a light tank halfway there for Inkuna. Not that pot is secured. Armor car is definitely hitting a bit late there, but again the mortar is adding an impact as Inkuna. Fifth car is being pushed out here. We'll have to see if Inkuna responds with a mortar bazoon. Armor car there arriving, but he's going to need the pack 40 against the Stuart light tank. That is going to need more armored cars. Let's hit with the current fuel situation. I don't think he can easily afford more armored cars as an Inkuna. North against the Lieutenant. Going for the car plan there. That's a good maneuver. Stuart rushing forwards here for Inkuna. Freedom and democracy. And go forces his way there. Ungarn's Pioneer. Armored car putting forwards. More setting up. Rathbot takes a minor losses. Pack 40 in the way there for Ungarn. The Panzer Abbekin on the Got it by the Stuart there. They should shoot armored car by the way, but 1945, 445, not really seen much usage because they'd effectively cease production of it, switch it towards either armored cars based off the 250 half track or heavy armored cars like the 234, as the 222 really wasn't good for off road sort of situations. North here, though, Glenn is being overwhelmed with Ralph Scorch, could see a possible grenade here. No, actually, there have been a possible grenade. Centre mortar moving forwards, fifth car popping in, that's going to be a bad position to be caught in for the mortar. Really bad, in fact. Pack 40 there, arriving for Deutschland. North is still racing in there. Could try and take about TV, even though there's concerns about possible things hiding around here. Could cut off the stewards of the Yamad Kars retreat path a bit here. Back here, ambulance on the way. And Kona continues to have a really powerful map control versus Ungaifen. As again, that early engagement for Ungarn really didn't work out for him. It looked a bit dicey there for Inkuna, but in the end, he was able to make it pay off partly due to the grenades. And really just has gotten such a firm control of the map here. Ungarn is struggling. And definitely needs to like, you know, pull off a great maneuver as Inkuna, or he needs to like Inkuna to commit a bit of a bigger mistake. Sam X here, very good, making use of the rough and defensive structures. He should also consider laying down some mines. When he has so much of the map, mines would be an incredible investment here for Inkuna versus Ungarn. We can make it much harder here if I'm going to like have any chance of making a return to the map. So 
you definitely should consider some mines here and there. But again, laying down sandbags is also a pretty good idea. Got the weapon rack up, this lets BARs, that definitely means no mines for any time period there. I mean, BARs and bazookas is also a pretty good addition, but I do also think some mines here on top of the grenades would have been quite effective. Almost got this to a light hand, then sending getting hammered by German mortified there from the Karnatin Werfer. The South EP near Ming Forts, armored car in as well, heavily damaged. Some decent push there by Angrav and partly carried forwards by the Karnatin Werfer. You may want to consider some punts going to these here for some slightly tougher infantry versus Inkuna's troops. In particular, nice, Inkuna is significantly upgrading them with BARs. Still no Doctor and Van Garden. There you go, Panzer Grenadier. Sehr good. Also, we got a big victory point leader for Inkuna over Ungrave in 492 versus 287. That is a hell of a difference. Great mort hit there as well. Was that a rifle grenade shot, actually? I think there was a mort hit. Bomb in the fifth car there. Close there, but not quite. Still forcing retreat in the fifth car, as it really cannot stand around there under German mortar fire. So I'm governing good progress, and certainly the mortars are good uh, part of that. Push to the south here, they're avoiding the center of the Angrav now, so the machine gun. Good push there by Inkuna. North here, we got the Gunners, let's do a light tank there. Large Gold getting hammered. And can consider taking up here. I mean, the Sunan Gun can push for armor the better, and of course, Inkuna should be in the same boat. The Farsi can push for armor the better. Stuart versus the Panzer gonna be gonna eat the pack 40 up there. Good shot there. Mortar slowly moving forward, close to Betty 2 on that Granat in the Alpha. You could theoretically like try and move up a bit further here, try and bombard Inkuna within his base. Obviously, a bit bold, but you know, could have some fun effects for the Germans. In the South Victory Point being seized there by Inkunas. Brave men. Stay no further tech there from Inkuna. Armour coming forward. Panzer's moving in as well there. Looking to hunt down this to finish off. In this case, the cop with the 5th Cannon Love Infantry. That plan is pretty much put on hold. In the South Eagle, he's pushing back the Lieutenant. Quick retreat there from Inkuna. And a wipe there. The Panzer's got wiped out. It's definitely not great there for Ungeisen. Painful, but a great kill for Inkuna. 340 man pass straight down the toilet. Is horrible for Angrav and just amazing for Inkuna. Take there for Angrav very good. Nemo Inkuna's yet to take up. Ralph got putting forwards here. Machine gun team bit here down. He's account fully assist. Ralph got being host down to be armored car fire and light machine gun fire. And of course, soon to be heavy machine gun fire. Oh, these orders only fire towards the south. A big mistake for Angrav and they forgot about it. In order to, you know, cancel that specific order. Great thing, Kuna, an absolute uh, blunder there by Angrav, and they could possibly cost him the center and the fuel point again. Grab not doing some damage, very good, but he's definitely taking a bit of a pasting here from Inkuna. But in the end, he does manage to narrowly hold for now. Inkuna himself lacking artillery there, I think, partly plays a role in this. Going for another 50 cal here, I, mean, I definitely feel like a mortar here would be a better choice than the second 50 cal for Inca Una. I think that would do him a lot more good. He is finally taking up the very good Angarven there. Going for another Panzer Squad, very good. Thumbs up, then should go for the Spomer Corps. Still no dodge on the Angarven. We're slowly approaching the 20 minute mark, and Angarven remains undoctrinal. Some mines here. Kind of mean them. And certainly no mines there from Inca Un either. Turn up fully reinforced. A bit of an oversight there, perhaps, by Inca Una. There you go. Second Panzer Squad there moving out for Deutschland. Heading for the northern point here. Fifth car being hauled northward. So there they're moving in as well.
Dave Kelly is going to ignore it. He's going to start doing what they can against him. The South here, big push as well. He's just basically hitting every point where Angraven is just going for a broad approach here. And it's very much working out. This is Angraven currently, you know, most of his forces retreated, so he can't hold the map. So, great play the Bankuna. A good sense of tactics there in the situation. And quickly able to exploit that. Thumbs up the Tinkuna. Angraven once more in a situation where things are falling a bit apart rapidly. He's going to need some armor fast. He's getting the Supreme Cup very good. Pants is catching the Ravcourt out in the open at this range. It's a bit tough. That's set. The Mortar, of course, provides a bit of assistance. Ralph got on the flank. That's going to force a retreat up north there, pushing forwards as well here. A lot of pressure going all across the map. Armored car near repairs. We'll have to see what it goes. Will it be an Austin? Will it be the Panther 4? Looks like the Panther 4 is for Inca Una. I'd expect the Sherman EC8 here versus Anka. Oh, got him. Himmel. That was a great mortar hit there. Full wipe on Inca Una. Beautiful. That on the Ralph Squad killed us up with a grenade, which doesn't make sense. Yeah, great multi hit there. Thumbs up. Turn drive is kind of in the alpha. I mean, that multi, I think, has steadily already at this point paid itself off nicely. Goes with the sewer light tank. Getting shot at by the sewer back hitch, which is forcing healing. 50 cal halfway done. Pack 40 ms are good here in the sewer. Armored car pushing himself against the Ravs Court there. Tang from the Orchid Cannon in the center. We got Gunners moving up there. Pioneers as well. Put later on Sam if he wanted to. Big push here though. Inkuna wants that calf point back for freedom and democracy. South here we got Panzer's Ravs Court grenade there. Didn't quite uh, land, but still forcing retreat on Inkuna's forces. Heading back in the north works as well there. Inkuna's actually rapidly losing ground. That Ravs Court getting wiped there. Definitely proved to be a bit more important than that might initially looked like. As he just lost an incredible powerful piece for again holding chunks of the map there. Cleaning up the S much later by Angraven. At least someone's laying down mines. But there you go, caught with the armor car in the minefield. They can actually take some losses since armor cars with their auto cannon can actually set off the S mines. Little fun fact there. Plus the mortar can also. Which actually is like a slight advantage as mines technically have over the mines in that, you know, they're not as easily cleared because again, it takes long to clear all of them. And that means that artillery fire can actually set off some of those mines and then kill the unit doing the work there. So, little fun back there. Pantahoff Angraven has expected it's done with Doctrine. The South here point being seized. And I imagine again, Inkun is going to go for the EC8. Modifying the 50 cal up north here, we've got right off score going for the northern victory point. Close to the east on that mortar. Inkuan meanwhile remains very much mortar shy. First push into the south here. Gunnies moving forwards. Up north we got the Gunnies, so there's the creations by the northern field point. Panda 4 right about down there for Angarven and the second Panzer Division. Grenade off on the Panzer going to deal it. That's going to have to retreat there for Angarven. And there you go, Panzerkampfwagen, vier Gefechtsbereit hier, vier Angreifen. North Vietnam is being pushed back here by Inconus forces as they steadily level another assault there. But why then the tank traps? Fresh push up north there continues as Angreifen's forces they get slightly outmaneuvered here by Inconus. And he can now go for this German EC8 here versus Angreifen. Definitely should pop it. More fun, Ralph Cook, Grenade from the Indy Thomas takes it out there. More to there we go, gaining the ace level. Which makes his barrage that much more accurate and that's more lethal, though Ungarden is not super on that barrage, but it still is pretty good. And there you go, we get the Sherman Easy here for Inca Una. Thumbs up. Panzer Volley being pushed back, machine gun almost wiped out by Inca Una's forces. The south here fighting continues, and Inca Una's forces withdraw there as the gun of the escorts for the light machine, of course, proved to be too much of a force. To contend with. Back hitch between force and healing. Sherman almost done there for Inkauna. Freedom and democracy. Pam from Fort catching the fifth car there and pushing it back. Second pack 40 there for Ungarden. Still no doctrine. Still no doctrine. At this rate, it feels like it's either going to be mechanized or. And it could also be Jaeger in from just the super close air support, but it could also theoretically be like close air support. 
I don't know which one she's going to go for, but there you go. Easy it arrives. Gaging the gun, these pushing them back. Mostly it goes for the tank commander, the 50 cal. Both having advantages. First shot that goes right through the pentacles. I'm the South Akron, these pioneers have against Bush here from Inca now there are one away there for Incomes replaced the one lost. Not shabby. The Zook team there alongside the Easy now pushing for that Panther 4 again. Shot misses there, hits an old wreck. Kind of the south here. The double pack ball's been caught around the center as well. Could be thrown here by Incomes forces. Looks like it doesn't happen. Mother Easy hits falling back from the center. Fresh Ralph caught that there for Incomes freedom and democracy. Note the name E8 or the EC8 stands for basically just the suspension type of hat there, which made for, I believe, an overall smoother ride in the tank. Up north here, the Sepoma call there could call in another Pentafor soon. He could also consider Stormika Schutz here versus Inca Unas tanks. Got the EC8 pushing forces. Stranger, Telemine, thumbs up the tank, driving Telemine's there. Ooh, close one there, almost cost him the tank, but narrowly escapes. Whew. But again, Telemine's great investment. And there you go, Pan pops up Rob's court there. Two rather punishing hits there for Inkuna. He didn't lose the units, but they are both very much out of the comfort zone. Time. Actually, just throw down the motion around here to keep the tank safe, perhaps. Ooh, yeah, that didn't save him in the end there. Close call there, but yeah. Telemines is always something to be wary of. And good work, Brian, down there mining. Particular as the Valmark, I would say getting down some telemines tends to be very much crucial. Like a, the telemine in the right place can really make a huge difference for you as a Valmark player a good deal of the time. As we saw here, bit result just the easy hit pretty much being an easy target, so really close call there. But he definitely should have thrown down smoke, I think, at a certain point, just to like make it harder for him to catch up and destroy it. Anyways. Got the armored car there, small loss there for Ungarden, but you know, nothing compared to taking out the EC8. Consuming 14, another other Panther 4 there for Ungarden. Incoming at this stage, could be tempted to go for the cap and just go that some anti tank guns here. Of course, Mail to just try and go for another EC8. In this case, he's destroying some of the shrubbery here to clear up fields of fire, so it makes it easier to form up a uh, hard point here with the pack 40. So, of course, if he's going to assist a bunch of that, that of course means it's easy for the artillery to take them out. But again, it makes it even just like create a pack front here. You can just sort of swing around to deal with the armored targets with. There you go, 13 kills on the Gunnard and Alpha. Still in South here, getting in the damage, getting ace level as well. 5th card keeps flying away there. Consider them buying that one. In Kahuna Barway, still no artillery. No mortars, no pack houses, no nothing. The Kirking Hammett there, most of those gates are pressed in return. Up north they're fighting, he once more breaks up between Inca Una and Graven, the Germans and the Americans. Pantopol sitting out there, heading the pinlight machine gun. Stuart sitting out there. North the Rascal Fanka and the Grenadier is going for the kill here, possibly a grenade. Ooh, there we go, forcing a retreat. The two Panda Force was opponent with just a pair of bazookas is great there for Ungarth, and I think we realized this could easily afford to get them much more aggressive versus Incuna. So apparently Incuna really doesn't have a lot of ways to like, significantly harm those Panda Force unless like, he misplays them. On this regard, he's leaving himself exposed to flank here, so this is kind of the situation where the bazookas may be able to do some significant damage. Two Angram and Panda 4. That said, Inkuna makes a mistake in going for the front instead of the rear of the Panda 4, which makes it easy for it to get away for starters. So, a bit of misplay by Inkuna. I definitely think he had others on trying to take out the Panda 4 there, but for some reason, again, he just took the least optimal path. Another wipe there on Inkuna somewhere. I think it was the Major that got wiped out. Another easy hit there for Inkuna and the Americans. Angram at the 24 minute mark, by the way. Still no doctrine. Not great there, not great. North there, Punch is using the point. Weapon racks there secured, so it needs a bit of fixing. Panther for Roland Forge there for Deutschland.
Sherman almost done there for Nkuna. See some Siren Pump is going to be here. Whoa, that just went flying. Easy to almost done. I've got pushing the Gunnadiers here, lots of BR, 5 plus 5th car, they're opening up, tearing into them. The south is stupid as the Gunnadiers. And there you go, easy and ready to punch through for freedom. And of course, obviously, going to avoid a Telemine again. And there you go, I'm down the Telemine, more in the exact same spot, because he's exploiting a blind angle, a lot of players tend to have, a mental blind angle, a black yeah, blind spot, which is, they typically don't expect mines in the same place to hit another mine, you know, the whole the lightning does is right the same place twice. Bias, if you will. Cognitive, you know, this thing there. But, anyways, sneaky there by Ungarden, but again, effective. Need to get the pan farther. This is. Ah, yeah, it's going to get knocked out. That's a big mistake by Ungarden. I'm guessing that Piaco thinks otherwise, elsewhere, something there, but that was just. That was. Ooh, bad. Up north, point being seized. Great kill, though, of course, for Inca Definitely levels the field between the two quite a bit there. Can swing up for another Panda 4, though. Still no docks on the front guy from the slow approaching the 30 minute mark. No idea what he's thinking now. I mean, at this point, I guess he could just go for the mechanized, just for, say, spotting scopes to be a crew repair. How it could also be handy. There we go, another Panda 4 there. Got a grenade off the machine gun crew there. Could possibly wipe it out. Double pack, so one penetrate, one bouncer. This time we also get the tank commander up there for the. ECA. The Brad Pitt upgrade. Panda 4 halfway done. Still they're taking the damage. Ralph's got pushing force there for freedom and democracy. Tang into those German anti-tank gunners and killing them on the retreat. Very good there from Incuna. Panda 4 looking to avenge the fallen. Zooks in 14, gating the Panda 4. Panda 4 number 2 almost done. He's in the center. And gun front line looking a bit more sketchy now, and he's kind of like trying to throw the pack for the bazookas. Oh, gonna go for the pack four, I guess that works too. That works too. Also worth noting that he does have access to smoke with several sources, but so far it is worth noting in Kuna's yet to actually like deploy any smoke versus Ungrav. Admittedly, Ungrav and the Malta has yet to deploy any either. So I know. Still, in Kuna getting back a quick check of the map here once more versus Ungrav, and going the sun a few points back. Which of course is going to make it a lot easier to get out another EC here versus Undrive, and which points things to get fairly awkward. Since we start to hit critical mass with ECH, this could get very dangerous for Undrive due to their high armor and health compared to his tanks. Northly, a bit of skirmishing between the Rob Squad and the Pantomime Days here. Betchy 2 there, so good. South here, 50 count, grab the point up. Still no teller from Inkuna. Meanwhile, Angram's Morse is now up to 15 kills. She's in the center once more. You see it setting up once more. North Ikon is picked up the Ravage Squad. Sending in and getting the Panther 4 tank into them as well there. So we'll hit there this time. Brad Pitt can send them against two hits from the pack 40s. There we go, another hit. Getting that easy out of there fast. Smalls are then pissing the south for the southern field point. So good, that setting cone is now much closer to the second EC8 here. Much, much closer. And Ungarn continues to be without a doctrine. Indicating he may not make great doctrinal choices if he can't choose a doctor by the 30 minute mark. Now then, you thought to find him being called in by Ungarn, realize he's going to need something to deal with all these for Damta Amerikanen. Except for downtown we can't give Aaron. North here point being secured, Panzer moving forward there. Catching those for down to Yankees there. Get by the lad Norman. Stuart level 7 kills age level. One thing your dogs consider by the way, actually once he gets out the other Sherman, pop out the Stuart crew on that one and switch it into the ECH so that one gets up to the high levels of action too faster. That I think would actually be a pretty good idea for Nkuna. That would be a pretty good idea in my book. 
South, a bit of push forward. Tikkun is holding up against several pushes here from Inca Una. Up north, Tikkun is pushing back the remaining Yankees. Finishing off the job for the Panzer Gunner here. Closing another E seed. He's has the man pies moments away from the fuel and two easy to gain will be a second from their fun driving if Inkuna can leverage them properly so there you go second easy available there we go Panther falling back south here point being secured machine going forwards into force personal rifle squad Panther on the game Rifle Squad. Jumping okay. Norfolk's. Going to be nasty hit there by the Sherman. Five kills. Slowly approaching match into one. There we go. Second Sherman ready. He's two EC eighteen now versus Ungarden's two Panzer fours. And there we go. Finally goes for Doctor. It's Jaeger Infantry. At this point, it's got to be just for the stupid close air support. And maybe the artillery. I definitely say that's a pretty late pick for that doctrine, but I suppose better late than never. But feels very late. There goes Shinkru up down here. I've got a big push of Ankuna. Ungarden's line thing over the southeast Sherman pushing forward. Backed up infantry in the center of the second Sherman pushing forward there. That said, I think it would have like thrown down some smoke with the Sherman to assist this attack a bit better, honestly. They do some of the incoming fire here from Ungarden pushing forward there. Rifle about to get wiped out. Popping up pack 40, but they're taking punishing amounts of fire. There you go. Almost got the pack. Rifle Squad gets wiped out. Not worth it there. Second Sherman flanking in the street moving in there. We got a big push here. Ungarden's lines are being absolutely overwhelmed there. Ankuna just delivers. Tons of firepower. There you go. Almost got the pack 40. Sherman Panther Ford there done as well. Their tanks are getting hammered. There you go. Panther Ford down. Bazooka team keep murdering away. Their pack ace wiped out. Sherman though knocked out. Another blow there. Team Kuna. Freedom and democracy. Heavy losses there on both sides. I think in this case, Ungarn's coming a bit ahead here of Inkuna. This round. Fifth car sitting out there. Tank through the pushing. The truth of the push forward team itself. Also not the danger zone. And wiped out as well. They another slap across the face of Inkuna. Man, what was a bit of smoke they would have done for Inkuna. Plus, like, artillery, to be honest. You know, we got here, Ungarden's Mortar there with 18 kills, 50 kills killed as well. North here, of being the troops there, they're trying to push forwards, but with the 50 kills changing to them, they can't really go anywhere. Except, well, hell. Panther 4, they're close to 52, though. Stuart ez 8 rushing forwards here, exploring the gaps here, using the in this case as bait to allow the ez 8 to push forward, push back further forwards there. Almost got the Panther 4, the pursuit's about to get knocked out as well. Panther 4 getting Metsy 2. Easy H is racing for freedom and democracy, but there you go. Whips on the shot. Another Panther 4 there for Angreifen. Infantry being absolutely sewn. Mona Party, yeah, and there you go. Fifth couple of work with infantry. The spots are pressing them. They're just murdering away. They've got artillery calling in by Angreifen trying to stop the attack here. Forcing retreat here, narrowly saving the front line here for Angreifen. It's Inkman launches another just dead devil assault. Although I think if they attacked with the 5th Cavalry North, he probably could have pulled through anyways. Shall we need to repair this once more? Moving the rear to assist. Very good. Closing in another tank here. Ungarden's who knows what number. Panzer for this almost ready as well. Stuart Barway also getting fixed up there. Fresh push from Inkauna. Freedom and Democracy. 5th Cavalry left behind. Plus the MD-42. Panzer 4 there fixed up by the Pioneers. Getting it back in working order. Though no Pendelmatter machine gun there for your Deutschland. Yet at least. Another bazooka hit there from the lieutenant. Seeing the minion crew. Could get smoked here by the lieutenant. Again, oh, it's getting special with the fifth cover. It's almost in return being wiped out. Bazooka fire there, fifth machine wiped out again. Sherming into assist here. Fifth cover crew here. Fresh artillery called in once more. Easy gaining vets in lead two. accurate closing in another easy at this rate we got 76 was three and one 300 points remaining Trip reinforcing healing here 
Mr. is also good to go here, heading northward swiftly. We got 76 versus 295. Pushing forwards there for your Deutschland. There you go. Punching the quality both easy hit and the Stewart. There you go. Great hit from the easy eight. Whoops. Sorry about that misclick. Bit of quiet there. Mortar holding up here with 18 kills. Axi. Moving forwards. Barb's course pushing forward with again the BS, the fifth kill here is being mowed apart out in the open with no cover to hold behind. They are very much exposed targets, and I'm glad we should know this. Just gonna stick them there, should at least give them the ambush camouflage. But there goes Stuart Sherman rushing forward, going for the center as well there. That feels a bit of advice in this is gonna fall off the smoke from the Sherman. And again, in corner for some reason, he's just not a big fan of smoke screens here. This is Angleifen. He's not a big fan. He's hitting four shoots, misses. Now the easy on the way to Finkuna again. Season Northern victory point. We got 76 to 246. Got the machine setting up here to cover the southern point. They could consider again ambush camouflage, but seems like Ungraven is not interested in that ability. Cordia by the Indy 42. Holding back with his tanks for now. Up north, he's caught by the Panzers. That is going to be pretty much an execution of the Reichlands as they stand no chance. Against the Panzergrenadier and their Sturmgewehrs. Panzerbot finding the Panzer Machine Rifle Corps taking losses. They try to seek safety in a water mill, but the only thing they'll find is death. Gem the Ravage here to assist the Rifle Corps. Close call there. And the Stewart as well there. Shots bouncing. They could try and use the focused gunnery, I suppose, for increased penetration. Increasing the range here. Shot bounces there. Techniques move forwards. Another hit there. Easy hit, the slow approaching Vets 23. Panther Force pushing 40 for Angreifen. Might have extended here against the EC8s. There you go, down to half on that Panther Force. Could get knocked out, could get knocked out. Oh dear! Pathing issue, passing issue, pathing issue. This is going to be easy kill for the EC8s. Then there we go. Big blow there to Angreifen. A great kill, I think, Kuna. Really hate it when you tank the side, you know, just instead of just moving backwards, they decide to turn on the spot. I've lost so many tanks to that. It is absolutely one of the most infuriating things that can happen in the game in terms of pathing. It's just, you know, let's just do the whirly burly on the spot. Fixing up the EC8. How long can I react to this loss of a Panzer? Going for Stugs. Sehr gut. He also really goes. In fact, one thing to worth knowing about this match is he's actually yet to go for Tier 5. I'm not to be the player that likes to go for Tier 4 a lot, you know, the big tanks, but this match is actually stuck to the support McCall quite well. And now he's going for Stukes. Has he perhaps finally seen the light? That's what the fourth catch of our on the open. Fifth guy finally with the Stewart, turning into the team from she under undone command. South Infantry catching the Pioneers, they're absolutely mowing them apart. Do we see mines here, perhaps? No, we do not. And there's still the Telemine there, by the way. Ooh, close to his own mine, they need to be careful there. This could become pretty painful there for Undriving. But they at least caught with the packs and the Panther Force exposed in the rear as well. That's not great there. Unless, of course, you are Undriving, in which case is amazing. Tilly called in it to try and drop in. Gunas pushed there for the center. Very good. Stug arriving there for Deutschland. The Sturmgeschütz 3 as von G. And south in before to the Rapsquad, suppressing them swiftly and efficiently. Shot fire there, punch with the handful's armor. There you go, EC8. Being pursued here by the Ace Panther Four with a bit of blitzkrieg as well. We're at 200 points. Trump points there for the Kuna 76. Angraven is holding the line here for Deutschland. Ravsport needs to retreat before they get wiped out, but it's just too much folks flying at the Garden. You've got the Stu joining in there. Should consider the pin-up machine on that one. It is quite cost-efficient. Fixing up the EC8 again. Still think you should pop out the crew there with the EC8 or the Stu crew. Hello. 
Fifth guy pulling that there. Jump this the Panzer Dex get a half track from Incuna. A half track. Oh, cancels it. Never mind then. I was about to get a bit excited there. Oh, beyond the Stoogs. Drifting forcing healing. Pantor being fixed up. And another Stoog. My god. My little Ann guy, he's all grown up. He's finally going for double Stoogs. Look at two German commander. I'm so proud. I was going to have the pad for these. He's going for the pad for taking down the half of the Super Falcon as well. They should be forward backed up the pack 40 though. He smokes screens here, needs to back off. There you go. Ace level EC8 though. Bazooka team tank to the Stuke. Almost taken out there, but the Stuke jets away. Pack bounces off the EC8 there. So look, Ace level EC8 is something dangerous there for Ungraven's armor and infantry in the south. He's still pushing forward to assist the infantry against the Southern Vic machine by the Southern Victory Point. North here on the center article being absolutely mowed down with the triple gun release. They're all bunched up. Still no artillery from Inkuna, whereas Armgram still has the mortar with 19 kills. Mortar to the quality of the 5th cal, tang into it with vicious ease. Stuart now being caught by the pack, 40 seconds, Stuart those ready here, Van Kuyven, Germany, Deutschland, but there it goes, Stuart knocked out there and the crew wasted. Pretty easy to just switch it out there on the uh, Sherman, I think they've been great there for him, but too late for that now, obviously, much too late. You see it being fixed up, could do with more troops to be honest then, cool nut. Maybe consider replacing some tenant actually. Panda 4 fixed up, Stugi need repairs. 76 to 64. Pack up me up there on the Sherman. And another EC8. We're going to be looking at a total of three EC8s here. That's going to be a small understrength for two of them, but still quite a fearsome formation here from Encona. A fearsome formation of steel, freedom, and corporate interests. Mr. Clan going for the Stoop, pushing it back there. But MD42 team saves the day there. So that's a lot of bazooka teams from Encona as well. Northern victory point again. We got 76 to 147. Almost got that EC8 ready here for Incuna. And another tank commander there. Immediately underway. There you go. That's three EC8s there. The Brat Pit there, ready to lead the entire unit. That said, will you remember to pop smoke before charging? He's just going to charge in, barreling forward with the tanks into like every gun Ungarden has. Well, at least be a flank. But so far, it seems like he's just charging in, and there's smoke at all. None from the Yersons, none from the Shemp. There you go, pushing forwards there. Pins up it again, straight into the smoke. He finally pops smoke. There you go. Tell him on there, proved the crucial to the tank to the Shermans. Already one knocked out in there. Great packs all saying to them. Panther for the gun, new with the EC8. Ace. The Brat paid himself. Almost got the Sherman there. Stoops almost got it. EC8 there, blasting away there. Seven kills, ace level. Almost got the EC8 up here with the Stoop. But the Stoop can time it up to the hedges up by Brad Pitt there. Got the Stoop though. Bit of blood at the time. still, he's down to just one Sherman EC8 here. Versus, well, a large force of Germans about to take out the Sherman there. Gets the Stoop, but the Ace Panther Force still allowed. That means the infantry is in some really deep scheisse. And with that, I think Incuna has lost, and there you go. GG, game over. An intense final engagement here with a lot of EC8s, a lot of tanks, a lot of glory. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell a family, but don't channel me. This is Imperial turning off. See you all another time for another video. Cheers.